Peace and greetings to you. Uh, this is Omar Abdul Malik, your physician assistant professional. This is my third installment of how to get into physician assistant school. Uh, today I want to talk, I want to give a brief discussion of uh, the personal statement. So the personal statement or narrative you know, that, that uh, so many PA students seem to dread. And I've talked to many students who have told me, I just don't know what to write. I'm not a good writer. What do I write about? So I tell them, like, look, you can write about anything. Now, the purpose of the narrative statement or the, uh, the personal statement, uh, and they've got this in whether you're applying to PA school or med school, you've got to do a personal statement. It is the admissions committee. It gives them a chance to know you. So you have qualitative versus quantitative, um, you know, I guess, uh, guidelines and, and uh, measures of, of kind of discerning the quality of a student. The qualitative, I think of this right, yeah, so the qualitative measure is the personal statement. The quantitative, you've already got that. Your GPA, your number of direct patient contact hours. Now, the, the uh, admissions committee want to see what you're like. What type of, what quality person are you? And you get to define yourself in the personal statement or the narrative. That's why it's so important. So things you can write about. So I've got something here. Yeah, you could write about, you know, if you had an illness or if you know somebody with an illness, maybe a family member or a friend, how that impacted you as, as a person and how it affected your decision to become a clinician. You can write about See, I've got health-related job. Maybe you are a certified nursing assistant or a medical assistant or a uh, emergency uh, medical technician. Um, also, you know, maybe you um, had combat experience. I had a few classmates who were in Desert Storm. You know, this was back in, in, in the 90s, and they had been to war. You know, so they had a lot to write about. You know, sports. Are you involved in sports? You know, what people may have impacted your, your uh, decision to become a PA. You want to take all of these things and talk about this life experience, how it influenced you, you know, what impact did it have on you as a person, and how did it mold you as an individual. Then, you know, specifically, how did it affect your decision to go into the healthcare field? I think I'm off key there, but how did it affect your decision to go into the healthcare field? And then, you know, even more specifically, how did it affect your decision to become, to want to be a physician assistant? Because again, there's a lot of things that you can do to help people. You can become a nurse. You can become a school teacher. You can become, uh, you know, a researcher. So all of the, your, but your personal statement should really strongly reflect your desire to become a physician assistant and how your, your life experiences have molded you to become, to want to become a physician assistant. I hope this helped. I'm setting up a website to give you templates. Those of you all that, that may need this kind of help, it'll give you templates on how to formulate your, your personal statement. Again, you want to define, your personal statement should define you as a person. Okay. It should, it should discuss some life experiences that you've had and how these ex experiences have molded your decision to want to become a physician assistant, or if you're applying to med school, you know, your desire to become a, a, a doctor. Uh, I don't know how many of you med students may be looking at these, uh, or pre-med students may be looking at these videos, but, um, you know, all of it's the same, you know, with the, with the personal statement. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please subscribe to my site, and I will answer your questions, God willing, in a timely fashion. Take care. Peace.